I finally healed my abandonment wound by learning emotional permanence. Thank you, children. Guys, let's talk not about my fabulous top, but about abandonment issues. Because for the past year, I have made so much progress. And it's thanks to this one concept. So to understand emotional permanence, you need to understand object permanence. So imagine you're a silly little baby angel, right? When someone does peekaboo on you, it works. Why? Because you don't understand object permanence. Eh? Oh my God, where did you go? <laughs> You are. Oh, oh my God, where are you? Yeah. As we gain object permanence, we understand that even if we can't see something, it still exists. And I just found out that there's an emotional equivalent. So emotional permanence means even if you don't have any, any evidence that someone's emotion is there, you trust it exists. But if you dealt with an inconsistent emotional parent, you unfortunately don't develop this skill. And as a child, that's terrifying, right? Like you need your parent to love you in order to survive. Your nervous system is highly attuned to the fact that like, without this giant, I will die. So as an adult, what does it look like when you do not develop this skill? Well, it looks like distance, time apart, arguments, delays in communication, or the absence of communication, even a change in someone's tone can trigger that nervous system response, doubt, insecurity, etc. even if your relationship is built on a solid foundation. And look, everyone can have a variety of emotions or behaviors or responses that comes from this, but usually it, it means you have a lot of anxiety about whether a person cares about you or not. And this can then lead to like rumination, constant reassurance seeking, or even like ending relationships abruptly to avoid the potential of abandonment. So people who have low emotional permanence, very often they'll struggle in relationships because they're constantly questioning the relationship's stability and validity. So now we know what emotional permanence is, why you likely have it, thanks parents, it always goes back to mom and dad, and what emotional permanence looks like. If this is you, Sorry, don't despair though, because there are things you can do. Now, strategies to deal with this often include a lot of self-regulation and also co-regulation. Co-regulation is like talking to your friends, your family, your therapist, and actively asking for what you need. Because as you're working on cultivating emotional permanence, yeah, you're still gonna probably need someone who needs a lot of reassurance and validation. And I have a lot of friendships where we're both working on it and we will actively communicate like, no, dude, of course I'm not mad at you. <gasps> okay, I mean, your texts were a little short, so I just oh, wanted so to make sorry. sure. I was responding when I was on the go because I didn't want to leave like this long period of non-response, so <laughs> okay. that's my bad. Now, self-regulation strategies are gonna be all about how to calm your nervous system. And you can do this with things like breath work, journaling, meditating, going for a walk in moments of stress. And look, I know you're thinking, but Anna, what if my fears are real? What if I'm being hypervigilant and I'm sensing that my partner is pulling away? What if it's not me overreacting to my abandonment wound and I'm really being abandoned? Oh, there she goes. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> no one likes being abandoned, let me be clear. But a part of life uh, is just accepting yeah, we can be abandoned, but that will be okay. And the difference between someone with a healthy abandonment response versus someone with like an intense fear of it is that both of these people could experience the same rejection. And one person understands, oh, I'm gonna feel bad for a bit, while the other person spirals into a deep pit of sadness. And to become the person who responds with an appropriate amount of wallowing, we have to build a positive relationship with ourselves that emphasizes resilience, trusting that I can never be abandoned because I always Always have my own back. Look, this is this, this is a practice, and it's not fun, <laughs> and it takes a lot of time. But it is a skill that you can develop, and one you should work on if you had an inconsistent parent, because people with this are going to act out in ways that aren't healthy, right? Like I was so afraid of being abandoned that I would cause it to happen. <laughs> Self sabotage much? But cultivating emotional permanence has made me realize my value does not depend on the opinions of others. I can remember that feelings of stress and anxiety will pass and then calm my nervous system in order to get past that. And I can communicate with the people in my life honestly and openly instead of letting fear rule my actions um, through a lot of self-sabotage. No, no, no. I'm Anna Arcana. Thank you to the Patreons who supported today's episode. And thank you to the one person who will never abandon us. 
Daddy Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. If you guys uh, don't know my dad yet, what are you doing? He's an all-in-one website platform. He builds gorgeous websites, he sells your products, and he engages with your audience. If you're like me and you do not understand anything about how to code Squarespace, Perfecto. Now they have beautiful and professional website templates that you use as a starting point, and then you just customize it to your specific brand and aesthetic. Like when I'm a viewer of a Squarespace website, I'm like, wow, it looks so sophisticated. But because I've also made them, I know that on the back end, it's drag and drop and easy and intuitive to build and just as easy to keep it updated. You can also create an online store and sell merch. So for me, that's my online guidebook about how I do my work. But for you, that may look like physical products, services, or classes. Whatever it is, we're all here to have a livelihood doing what we're passionate about. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com Anna, and use code Anna for 10% off your purchase of a website or domain.